agent requesting backup. The base of operations has been introduced. However, that isn't the only safe zone in Washington DC. As you explore and liberate the districts of DC, you will come across settlements and control points. Settlements are civilian safe havens that stand opposed to the hostile factions in the city. Being under constant threat, these settlements can use your help and in turn they provide you with different assets and staff that allow for upgrades and unlocks. Control points are there for settlements to lock down an area. Let's tour the theater settlement and take over a control point. The first settlement you come in contact with is the Theater Settlement, run by Odessa Sawyer. This gated community you can enter from four different directions. Walking up to the roof, we get a first look at the settlement and how it's structured. Wanna take a look at what I got? The first thing you run into is the Trader, which similarly to the base of operations, allows you to buy, sell and buy back gear and weapons with e-credits. Opposite to the trader is another project officer, which displays the same project as in the base of operations, of course for that particular settlement. However, upon completion you can collect your blueprints here, which you can't do at the, at the base of operations. In these settlements you will meet people that can be of use to you. You can employ them at the base of operations to unlock assets, like the shooting range or in this case a crafting station. Inaya is an engineer and allows you to craft weapons, gears and mods using the blueprints you acquire through the projects. The progression you book with the settlement can be checked at the settlement progress. Here we can see the four stages of progressing the settlement, each one increasing its prosperity and rewarding you with the staff for your base of operations. You can progress these by completing missions, side missions and capturing and defending control points from the hostile factions that roam around. Side missions can be found in the open world, but also in settlements with local people. We've lost contact with a few people in the deserted library. We have reports of a lot of hyena activity in the area. Can you check it out? And behind this door is the room where the settlement leader is stationed, in this case that would be Odessa Sawyer. Cutscenes at the start and end of missions will take place mostly over here. To store or swap out your weapons and gear as well as check your mailbox, you can always find a stash in your settlement as well. And that does it for this particular settlement, but there are many more to help and uncover, although these aren't available in the day. It's not the end of your interaction with the settlements and their civilians, however. Each district will have multiple control points. These are initially controlled by enemy factions like the Hyenas or True Sons, but can be taken back by us with the help of civilian militia. Request. To secure a control point, you need to persist through two phases. First, you need to eliminate the guarding enemies and take out their leader, after which you need to defend it against an assault of their reinforcements. Similarly to the offensive phase, you need to eliminate the enemies, including another leader. This can be quite easy with the use of a mounted machine gun, because even thick boys don't stand a chance against a mounted machine gun. You don't have to take it back alone, as you can signal for backup using a flare gun, and compared to the Manhattan JTF, the civilians are actually useful. Upon gaining full control of the point, you can collect your rewards in the crates and boxes that usually are inside. On top of that, you can provide the control point officer with materials for goodwill with the civilians. Once you reach end game after completion of the campaign, these control points will be taken back, or at least will be attempted to take back by the Black Tusks. Settlements and in turn control points are crucial to progressing through the game, upgrading your gear and eventually taking back Washington DC. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the tour, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share and subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad.
On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates where I post my videos and follow the Division news. And join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around the Clans Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in Intel briefs on the summarized information I give in my videos. Some videos will have them, others will not. To end the video, I have a question for you. What asset would you like to see in addition to the ones that we have already seen in the settlement? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.